Good morning, folks. Welcome to Epiphany's uh, video the Easter morning service. Uh, we welcome you. Uh, Julie and I are working hard to maintain the six-foot safety distance, and so you'll see us kind of come in and out of the picture frame as appropriate to, to maintain, except that as we receive communion. We're going to begin the service this morning with our great, uh, from the great vigil of Easter, the lighting of the Paschal candle, and you can find that beginning on page 285 of your prayer book. Dear friends in Christ, on this most holy day, in which our Lord passed over from death to life, the Church invites her members dispersed throughout the world to gather in vigil and prayer. For this is the Passover of the Lord, in which, by hearing His word and celebrating His sacraments, we share in His victory over death. Let us pray. O oh God, through your Son, you have bestowed upon your people the brightness of your light. Sanctify this new fire and grant that this Paschal feast we may so burn with heavenly desires, that with pure minds we may attain to the festival of everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The light of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Rejoice now, heavenly hosts and choirs of angels. And let your trumpets shout salvation for the victory of our mighty King. Rejoice and sing now all the round earth, bright with glorious splendor, for darkness has been vanquished by our eternal King. Rejoice and be glad now, Mother Church, and let your holy courts in radiant light resound with the praises of your people. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is truly right and good, always and everywhere, with your whole heart and mind and voice, to praise you, the invisible, almighty, and eternal God, and your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who at the feast of the Passover paid for us the debt of Adam's sin, and by his blood delivered your faithful people. This is the day when you brought our fathers and the children of Israel out of bondage in Egypt and led them through the Red Sea on dry land. This is the day when all who believe in Christ are delivered from the gloom of sin and are restored to grace and holiness of life. This is the day when Christ broke the bonds of death and hell and rose victorious from the grave. Holy Father, accept this Easter sacrifice the offering of this candle in your honor, may it shine continually to drive away all darkness. May Christ, the morning star who knows no setting, find it ever burning, he who gives his light to all creation, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The service continues with right two of the Holy Eucharist, beginning on page 355 of the prayer book. Page 355. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This is the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. After the Sabbath, 
as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly, with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. As many of you probably know, this is my second time at Epiphany. I was here back in the mid-1980s as an interim priest. When I was here at that time, up on top of the ladies' restroom, mounted to an I-beam, I found a great big bell. That bell had not rung in years. It didn't have a rope on it. It hadn't been greased. I couldn't get it to turn or move. And when I asked about it, uh, I was told that they didn't want to bother the neighbors with it, and so they had stopped ringing it a number of years before. I didn't make it an issue at the time, but when I came back in 1993, I checked, and the bell was still up there. There was still no rope on it. Uh, it still wouldn't turn. And I decided that it was time we bothered the neighbors a little bit and see if we could get a few of them to come to church, maybe. Uh, Stephen Barry, uh, who was a new member of Epiphany, he was at that time about the only person that could crawl through the ladies' room window and get out on the roof to put a new rope on it and grease it up and get it ringing again. He is now, by the way, a Methodist minister out in Oregon. But he worked and worked on that bell to get it going and to begin bothering the neighbors. I love that bell. We actually built a bell tower for it here. Uh, the lead-in and uh, exit from this service on your video is a picture of video of that bell ringing in its tower. I used to love to go out there and listen to it before the service. We'd, everybody would be lining up and I'd go listen to the bell ring and then go around to the front door of the church and begin the service. That bell is silent now, like the rest of the building, due to the coronavirus uh, inhibition of using our buildings. And I realize now that I had stopped paying attention to that bell. After 27 years, it had become so routine that I, I wasn't, wasn't paying it any attention at all. And I'm thinking back, there are times when I even said, has the bell rung yet? As the time starts there, has the bell rung? Um, I stopped listening to it until it stopped being wrong, and now I miss it very, very much. And I think church and a lot of religion is like that. We stop paying attention, we begin taking it for granted, we become comfortable with the routine. The Easter season, we obviously can't use our building for it for this morning's service, but the Easter season lasts for 50 days before Pentecost. Maybe, just maybe, we'll make it back into our building during that Easter season and we'll celebrate with the ringing of the bell again. In the meantime, it may not. It may not happen. But during this period, we're just going to have to celebrate the risen Lord with the lives we lead and how we treat and deal with each other. I miss being with all of you very, very much. In this place, with my whole heart and soul, 
I miss seeing you and being with you. And I now have a new appreciation and a new awareness, kind of like with the bell, of how much I miss you because you're not here now. So my Easter prayer this year is that we be together again as the body of Christ in this place again. And that the bell rings again. And that we gather to praise the risen Christ no matter when we get back in here. We'll have our Easter service and gather to pray the risen Christ again. Have a blessed Easter. Let us say together the faith of the church is found in the words of the Nicene Creed found on page 358 in your Book of Common Prayer. We believe, believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We, we believe, believe in one Lord, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the only Son, Son of God, God eternally begotten of the Father, Father God from God, God light from God, light, true God, God from true God. God begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of the people are Form 3, found in your prayer book on page 387. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for our bishop for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest, let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we May also come, come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for those on our parish prayer list. We pray for Linda, Sheila, Jerry, Sam, Dawn, Kevin, Ray, Nell, Joseph, Kathy, Martha, Joy, Stuart, all those affected by the coronavirus and those who have died. We pray for all of those who minister in the midst of this virus. I ask you to add your own petitions in your heart at this time. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Continuing on page 360, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. 
We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace, Lord. The service continues with Eucharistic Prayer C, found on page 369 of your prayer book. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. God of all power, rule of the universe, who are worthy of glory and praise. Glory to you forever and ever. At your command, all things came to be, the vast expanse of interstellar space, galaxies, suns, the planets and their courses, and this fragile earth, our island home. By your will, they were created and had their life. From the primal elements, you brought forth the human race and blessed us with memory, reason, and skill. You made us the rulers of creation, but we turned against you and betrayed your trust, and we turned against one another. Have mercy, Lord, for we are sinners in your sight. Again and again you called us to return. Through prophets and sages you revealed your righteous law. And in the fullness of time you sent your only Son, born of a woman, to fulfill your law, to open for us the way of freedom and peace. By his blood he reconciled us. By his wounds we are healed. And therefore we praise you, joining with the heavenly chorus, with prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and with all those in every generation who have looked to you in hope, to proclaim with them your glory in their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so, Father, we who have been redeemed by him and made a new people by water and the Spirit, now bring before you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup of wine, gave thanks, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering now his work of redemption and offering to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving, we celebrate his death and resurrection as we await the day of his coming. Lord God of our fathers, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world about us. Deliver us from the presumption of coming to this table only for solace and not for strength, for pardon only and not for renewal. Let the grace of this Holy Communion make us one body, one spirit in Christ, that we may worthily serve the world in his name. Risen Lord, Lord, be known to us in the breaking of the bread. Accept these prayers and praises, Father, through Jesus Christ, our great High Priest, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, your Church gives honor, glory, and worship from generation to generation. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Julia, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Julia, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Richard, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Amen. Our post-communion prayer is a little different than we normally use. You'll just have to join us. Let us pray. Loving God, we give you thanks for restoring us in your image and nourishing us with the spiritual food and the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. Now send us forth in a people forgiven, healed, renewed, that we may proclaim your love to the world and continue in the risen life of Christ our Savior. Amen. May Almighty God, who has redeemed us and made us his children to the resurrection of his Son, our Lord, bestow upon you the riches of his blessing. And the blessing of God the Creator, God the Redeemer, and God the Sustainer be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.